Do you want to know how narcissists try to screw you in negotiations? By the end of this video, you're going to know all their secrets and how they try to screw you in negotiations so that you can make sure to smack them down before they get to you. Hi, I'm Rebecca Zong, and I have written a couple of best-selling books, and I am recognized as one of the top attorneys in the country, and I teach you how to negotiate on this channel. And specifically, I teach you how to negotiate with high conflict, difficult personalities. So if you want to feel empowered, if you want to know exactly what to do and say and step-by-step -step guidance, hit subscribe right now, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And that way you'll get notified when I do all these cool things that are meant just for you, for your empowerment. Okay, so how do narcissists try to screw you in negotiations? Well, number one is they constantly move the goalposts. What does that mean? That means that you think you're going there, you get there, and it's gone. And what happens is, and by the way, I have a whole video on this. What does it mean when narcissists are trying to move goalposts? So make sure you go and check that out. But in a nutshell, what it is, is that you think that you've come to an agreement and now all of a sudden there's no agreement, or you think that you've at least agreed to this, this, and this, and all you have to do is figure out this, this, and this. And maybe by the time you figure out this, this, and this, that other section that's gone now. And most of the time what happens is they'll blame it on you. Of course, it'll be your fault. You know, you took too long to respond, or you asked for something else, or this happened and now that's no longer, or they found out this, so now you can't, they aren't agreeing to that deal anymore. And why do they do that? They do that because they get narcissistic supply from it. They enjoy watching you squirm. You, reasonable person, think that you are working toward a resolution and when you're dealing with a narcissist, they don't really want a resolution because they're getting narcissistic supply from making you miserable, from jerking you around, from seeing you be scared, from seeing you be intimidated, from seeing you spend lots of money on attorneys. So, and most attorneys don't understand that, by the way, which is why a lot of times you're out there going, hey, I just need a good lawyer. And then you finally find a good lawyer and that lawyer is, you know, years down the road and hundreds of thousands of dollars later, and you're still nowhere. That's why, because these people do not understand that what's really going on is that the narcissist is actually enjoying watching you squirm. They don't want you to finish. So that's how one of the ways that they try to screw you in negotiation is just constantly moving the goalposts. Okay, so another way that a narcissist tries to screw you in negotiation is by smear campaigns, by trying to make you look bad, by trying to make you look bad by, to anyone that matters. So it might be your lawyer, their lawyer, the mediator, your parents, your sister, your best friend, your neighbors, your, your coworkers, whoever it is. And sometimes they started planting that seed long before the discard. And if you want to know more about the discard phase of a relationship, make sure you check out my video on the discard phase of a relationship. But sometimes they've started planting those seeds a long time beforehand. You know, they'll start to say things like, oh, you know, uh, I'm really so concerned about, you know, so-and-so's parenting. Um, you know, she forgot to pick up the kids last week. It was so weird, you know, and then by the time, you know, you get to the full on discard phase, now you're a full blown alcoholic, drug addict, or whatever it is that they want to paint the picture of. So that smear campaign is another way they try to screw you in negotiations because they try to make you look bad before you, you make them look bad. So, you know, when you're dealing with a narcissist, you're either for them or against them. You're either, you know, in their camp or you're the enemy. So once you've exposed yourself as being the enemy, now you're public enemy number one to them. 
and they want to make sure that you go down before they they you you have a chance to take them down. So they try to get all kinds of people on their side. They'll try to get you know, a psychologist on their side or a guardian ad litem or the other lawyer or whoever, you know, if you're dealing with a narcissist in business, it might be your business partners. It might be, uh, other people that you're doing business with. It might be clients. It might be coworkers. It might be, uh, employees, whatever it is, they're going to start that smear campaign and hand in hand, by the way, with the smear campaign is number three, which is triangulation. So what they try to do there is they try to set up um, a situation where these people that you think are in your camp or that you might like or that you might respect or whatever are now on their side. They want, they want to try to align themselves with people that they think will be able to hurt you in some way so that you feel like you are isolated, so that you're now like the one who's on, on the outs um, and everybody else thinks this about you and you're the only one who thinks a certain way and everybody is lined up. And I have a lot more on this on the narcissist favorite sayings video. So you should definitely check that out as well. Um, but that's one of the things that they do as well to try to, it actually is to try to break you uh, mentally. And by the way, you can do this. So don't, don't buy into that. Don't, don't buy into the gaslighting, which is by the way, another thing that they try to do to bring you down during, uh, negotiations is gaslighting you, trying to make you think that you're crazy. You know, oh, you agreed to that. We had that conversation. Um, and, and you're like, we never agreed to that. I never said that. Oh yeah. You said that you said that, you know, when we had that conversation way back when and you're like, what? How did that happen? I never said that. So what can you do about it, by the way? And how do you fight back against how a narcissist will try to screw you? One of the ways is having very, very clear documentation, making sure that you are documenting everything, every text message, every email, every conversation. If it's a verbal conversation, send an email back saying this is just to confirm the conversation that we had, um, because you want to make sure that you are documenting everything because they will end up lying. By the way, narcissists are pathological liars and you will be able to catch them in that. And that will end up being fantastic leverage for you. Once you be, once you can do that, that, that documentation that you have will turn into that magic bullet leverage. Um, if you want to know more all about that, you should definitely check out my video on that. And, um, and also check out my slave program because I have a lot more on that in that as well. But that documentation will end up being your gold because they will start to make mistakes. They will start to come unglued. They will start to fall apart. If you just stay the course, stay unemotional. That's another thing that you can do, by the way, is stay unemotional. It's just, you know, I see that you're upset. We can talk later when you are uh, less upset. Um, and you know, you can do this. I, I love the, the, the quote from Glennon Doyle, where she says, I can do hard things, you know, make that your mantra. I can do hard things. All right. So I want you to put that in the comments right now. I can do hard things because you can, you can, if you think you can, you remember what Henry Ford said, um, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. But just say, I can, I can do hard things. I can do this. All right. Because if you let all of their screw tactics, I'll call them their screw tactics get to you, then they win and you're not going to allow that to happen. Okay. We are going to do this together. You're going to use all these things that I'm telling you to do, and you're going to fight back and you're going to win this thing. All right. The way that you're going to start is by going to winmynegotiation.com and grabbing my free crush my negotiation prep worksheet. It's totally free. It's an ebook. It's 15 pages. It's all yours. It's totally free. Nothing uh, gained. If you don't get it, lots gained if you do. So make sure you grab that. Also come join me in my free private Facebook group, which is narcissist negotiators with Rebecca Sung. I'd love to see you in there. Lots of lots of people helping each other in there. If you know somebody 
who's get, getting screwed by a narcissist in any kind of a negotiation, make sure that you share this video with them. You like it, drop me that comment. I wanna see that comment. I can do hard things. And make sure that you have subscribed and you hit that notification bell. I'm here for you. You can do this. Today is a perfect day to start negotiating your best life. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad that you stopped by my channel and I will see you in the next video.